Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today we have our second generation 5 custom. We are going to be using a G4 Twilight Sparkle to make the Pegasus sip. And the reason I picked this pony as a base, mostly it was because it was available. <laughs> it had very short hair, so it looked like a perfect candidate for a custom. We will need to make some changes. I'm going to use these other wings from a broken pony and I'm going to have to remove the unicorn. So I hope you enjoy the process and let's get started. It looks like this pony was painted using nail polish, so I'm going to use pure acetone first to remove it. And as you might be aware, acetone also removes all the paint, so it's also going to take care of the eyes and the cutie mark. And this is what the pony looks like after removing all the paint. Endless possibilities. Next I'm going to start working on the wings and I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to use acetone to remove the paint that was applied to them. The reason I chose to use these wings instead of the G4s is because zips are quite bigger and I wanted them to really display. Next we're going to remove all the hair to prepare for the new one and the first thing I need to do is one of my least favorite things <laughs> in the world is removing the head of a G4. But before that some therapeutic hair cutting. And now the difficult part, and if you're going to do this, be very, very careful with the exacto knife. My recommendation is to do small cuts inside the neck and pull as hard as you can. To remove the unicorn I'm going to use the knife again and then I'm going to file and sandpaper.
And now it's time to join the wings with the body. I'm going to use pins because even though they can't be sharp, the chances of this breaking after I use the epoxy putty are very small. Before moving on to sculpting, I'm going to prime the pony using this base coat. And it's raining, so I'm going to do it off camera. The last time I attempted a G5, <laughs> I actually carved the hoops to get the same effect. This time, however, I'm going to add to it, I'm going to sculpt it. And I think this is not only easier, but it will look much better. Once everything has dried for a few hours, I'm going to file and sandpaper the result. Now it's time to paint the body, I'm going to use acrylic paints as usual and I'm going to do a base layer of white.
in order to get that really nice hairstyle that Sip has, <laughs> I'm not going to use the two rolls that came with the G-Force. I'm going to add a few more holes so I can have tons of hair. the rehair and I was so happy I was going to use my usual needle and I made a very silly mistake and this is not the first time I do it either but this time there were consequences <laughs> I actually forgot to make the holes bigger and so the needle wouldn't struggle and break like it did so I was extra careful from here on going to paint the hooks grey like they show in the movie. For the tail I'm going to use the same colors, I'm going to make a little bundle and then I'm going to push it in. If you saw my last G5 custom, you probably noticed that I was trying to imitate the eyes as they were shown in the movie. However, I don't think the result was very good and this time I'm going to keep the G4 eye style but add the eyebrows.
For the wings, I'm going to paint a gradient using all of these colors. Now, to achieve this spiky hair effect that is also a bit puffy, I'm going to use some more millipad and I'm going to create a little onion shape that will go inside the hair. The final step is to paint the cutie mark, only one this time, because last time I did one on each side. <laughs> and I also need to do some painting retouches. Here is the result. 
there are a couple of things I still need to figure out. One is the hair, it's not as shapely as I wanted. The second one is maybe how to create more expressions with the eyebrows, because I tried a few things off camera and they didn't work. Uh, so I think I need to change the shape of the eye and yeah, practice that a bit more. But overall, I think it is an improvement over my last G4 to G5, but I don't know, uh, what do you think? I would love to hear your feedback, especially when comparing SIP to Easy. So thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you soon and have a great week!